Hey guys, this is the um, internals of my Leonard quad shot. Okay, I'll begin with um, this bar here. Um, what you have to do is, okay, um, the previous hook thing used to be here. Um, you have to take a screw uh, and drill it through. Behind, at the back, I put epoxy. This was to uh, reinforce it so that it would it would not move. Next thing that I about. Okay. Uh, um, drill your rear loading holes behind. This is one foot PDG barrels nested in UPVC. Um, at the base I put quite a lot of hot glue which is not very neat. But okay, well, the reason for this is okay, at the sides it is to hold in place so that it will not wobble about. For the ratchet ratcheting mechanism inside um, yeah, for this, I follow mostly Zorns and Bad Wrenches right up. For, however, Zorn said to glue all the parts inside together, but I found that quite difficult because of this kind of plastic, which is, which is not really very glue friendly. So what I did was, there's a beefy spring inside here. Um, yeah, take it out, and uh, I did what Angel did for his Doomsayer. So what you do is, okay, take out this whole piece. There will be one small piece here, the spring, and this whole white piece. So what you do is, so what I did was, um, I from for this big piece here, there's a nub at the end, which goes into this that that screw there. Uh, you I put hot glue around the nub, and then I fit in all the pieces so that when I inserted the screw they will all be glued together as in like the hot glue would make them form a whole solid piece yeah also this makes the spring uh, much harder to compress and which will always also um, help it stay in place yeah it wouldn't rotate under under the increased pressure from the the new seal okay next part is this um, whatever piece okay cut down here like Zorn asks you to. Um, then take your plunger, the back of the plunger tube. Uh, hold on, okay, yeah, this part you have to originally, there's no gap here. Okay, so shave it down. Okay, it's a closer look at it. Yep, shave it down. Okay, and for my plunger um, rod. What I did was, yeah, you have to cut, um, shave here, shave down this part, so that it's smooth. Okay, hey, all this was from Zorn's right up, so none of it is, yeah, my, mine. Okay, however, I did do some additions. As you can see, for the plunger rod, there is epoxy. So, um, this is to prevent, uh, all the clicking noises when you prime it, because. Uh, originally when you prime primed it it will go click 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 yeah all the way till it's fully primed so I filled up epoxy until about the sixth notch um so that this time when you yeah you prime it you won't hear all that irritating noise probably the last two clicks you'll be able to hear yep um as for the catch plate piece whatever uh relocate the spring to this position and you see the back is pushing against it um, and yeah, this will this is good enough for your catch. You don't really need to add a add another spring or change the spring. Okay, as for this catch piece, <coughs> uh, Zorn told you to glue it in this position and cut off uh, this part here. So yeah, you shave it down, but I did not glue it in that position. I just put hot glue at the back. Yeah, it's more or less the same thing. So just put hot glue at the back, so that when you push it, yeah, it can it cannot depress. There's something in the way. And finally, for the back piece at the back, just cut out. I cut out a slot of here, as you can see. Yep, there's a slot. I'll uh, put a PVC coupler and uh, some PVC inside. This will. This is for your stock edition, which I will show you guys later. Yep, so um, that's more or less what I did to the internals. 
oh yes I also increased the stroke uh, here you have to remove the screw port here but don't worry so yeah increase the stroke for this one and as well as the other side you can see and then, yep your rear loading holes okay so now I'll assemble her up please. so this is my assembled quad shot okay I think I left out some parts okay for your priming handle to allow your full plunger rod travel you have to shave yep you have okay you have to shave down this part bad lighting okay so you have to shave down this part for both sides yep like so okay for your rear loading holes um yep over there and okay hold on yep over here so nice clean wheel loading holes and for my stock i used a, a radar stock so at the back of it is also a coupler pvc yep so just this is how it looks like Yep, also I know my coupler, as in my stock, sorry, is slightly upwards. Yes, this one done on purpose. And yep, now for a firing test. Okay. For my firing test, I'll be using this cardboard box. Um, it is a dart type box. Yep, in case anybody's wondering. Okay. though I doubt it will shoot through both sides okay I'll, I'm using um, four split shot weighted Stefan's 3 fishing weight and these are from Jesse Evangel yep I bought a bunch of him which I'll be doing a review on yep they have really nice domes okay hold on oh spider-man Okay, so loading my. Yeah, put in two first. And we'll be aiming at the box. Okay, so my gun is here. So, as I showed. Okay, two inside now. So, as I showed you earlier, my um, priming rod had epoxy inside. So, when you do this, okay, you don't hear any clicking noises. Only at the back. So, you can hear that. So my yep, tire rotation is very smooth and nice. Okay, I'll also put in the remaining two dots. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> All four made it through. Um, is it the same dot? Um, hold on, wait, let me check. Oh wow. Um, okay, so there's nothing inside here. Um, and um, yeah, wow. Um, went through both sides and as well. One one of them uh, uh is an old dot. Yeah, so so yeah, this gun is really awesome, and I would definitely recommend you getting it. Yeah, this thing fires as well as my 3K overhaul 3K. Yeah, it has like great ranges, great rate of fire. Yep. So this Leonard quad shot or Air Zone triple shot is a really good buy, and I would recommend any of you. I've seen it around to get one immediately. Just like I have. Yep, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave comments and PM me with any questions. Thank you.